everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Guys, thank you so much once again for all of the insane support you guys have been showing the series lately. It truly has been mind-blowing, the amount of support that you guys have been showing this series, especially since I returned to YouTube from my break. So guys, thank you, truly. I do appreciate it. Five thousand likes guys is the goal that we keep going for for these videos so if we can hit it that will be more than enough to tell me that you guys are still hyped for this series hey can you see the tail of a fox right above me huh you see him up there <laughs> oh you know it's quite funny actually because uh, you know we've got mountain sheep already and now we've got Mountain Fox, except he can sort of, he can move around quite easily. And for those of you guys interested, yes, Mountain Sheep is still alive. He's still over here. So, yeah, there he is. <laughs> He's still alive. After all of these episodes, Mountain Sheep is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. Some of you guys might not even know what the hell I'm talking about. So, it doesn't even matter. But, anyways, guys, this is the last episode I've not been idle, okay? I have not been idle. I have done a little bit of work to the storage room. And there were some really, really good bits of uh, feedback that I wanted to go through in today's episode. But before we do that, I had a slight unfortunate incident in that uh, one of the farmer villagers in the corner here actually got converted into a zombie villager. But that's not actually that bad of a thing. It really, really isn't. Because what it means is we can... Uh, we can can cure him and then we have ourselves a very very nice discount right let's go ahead and grab these out let's grab out the splash potion here uh let's go ahead and splash you there sir and boop, there you go enjoy all right guys so since the last episode i've done a bit of decorating around here i've even managed to get rid of one of the chests here and we managed to sort out a whole bunch of items here so uh the first and probably main bit of feedback that i got was from a user on twitter by the name of super frank underscore 26 who said that the item uh, spitter outer, the item dispenser, was going way too fast for the system to handle. So we've actually gone ahead and changed the item dispenser to this design here. So we've got a comparator coming out of the back going into repeater. Uh, this will power the dispenser here. Well, not dispenser, the dropper here. And this will make sure that the signal keeps rotating around. So this is actually a lot slower to the point where the storage system can actually handle it, which is fantastic because I was noticing quite a lot of the time that there were some random items going into like random chests but as you can see it all seems to be up and running every now and again I will get stone that just sort of skips the entire lot and goes to the next chest here but for the most part this thing does seem to be working fine now so yeah you can see we've got some item frames up and going here this little section here is pretty much done in terms of decoration got myself some uh, crimson and warped roots here for decoration as well so yeah guys got plenty of things going on we really really do the other piece of feedback i wanted to get into is actually the comments question of the video arnav sharma says hey python how about connecting your mob farm to the storage room as it seems so untidy below the mob farm love your videos thank you so much for that uh yeah that's a really really good idea so kind of similar to the to the 16 color wolf farm that we're going to set up i think it would be in our best interests to have all of our items get filtered out of here and then maybe i don't know how would we even do this because somehow we would need to filter out the armor right and i don't know how you filter out unstackable items unless we just have these things go straight into a blast furnace but then again what about the leather armor hmm I'm not entirely sure. I think that's going to have to be something we figure out in a later episode. But for today, my friends, it is decorating day. That is right. I said I'd do the decorating in today's episode. The only thing I've done since the last episode is put down a floor, okay? So, yeah, we've got plenty of things still to do, my friends. And I am looking forward to it. Decorating is one of my more favorite things to do in Minecraft. It truly is. All right, guys. So, all of the item frames are now in. And you know what? I think maybe now is as good a time as any to try and figure out our wood situation, okay? I feel I feel like the place we should put it is like in this middle section here because obviously there's six types of wood well actually no technically speaking there's eight types of wood now so yeah each of these banks is eight chests so yeah and then we put down like their respective sapling maybe their respective leaves as well or nether warp blocks or whatever it is it will be uh and then yeah and then this one here can maybe be for planks or like other wood related resources sticks and whatnot ah 
Alrighty guys, so I thought I'd give you a bit of a progress update. This entire row is now done. We've got sand, glass, and smooth stone at the end here. We've got a pretty significant amount of smooth stone because of our auto smelter. So we've got a little nether section here. So we've got nether racks, soul soil, nether bricks, soul sand, and shroom light. We are going to expand the nether section over this way. So we've got like glowstone, maybe bone blocks, all that kind of stuff. There's plenty of stuff uh, relating to the nether still to go. Like even the... the Nylium and such, you know? Plenty of stuff still to go. So the little wood section here is pretty much sorted out. The only thing that we need to bear in mind is to even get the item filter started, we need to have like, what, what's that? 41, 42, 43, 44, f at least 45 of each item to even set up the item filter in the first place. So yeah, in some cases, there is no item filter set up at the moment because I just don't have the resources to. Like, for example, uh, these warp planks we don't have enough resources for yet so yeah there's lots of things to do but slowly but surely i'm trying to follow along my water flow here to figure out what i can start putting inside of my uh, item filter right or item sorting system thing yeah that so okay yep yeah, we could put that in there we could put the soul soil in there the shroom light and the soul sand are things i currently cannot put in so all the way up to the nether brick is where things can be automatically sorted so so, for example, let's go grab ourselves out the soul soil and let's see if it will go into the system without any hitches. Now, I do have a few more nether resources I could probably put in there. Uh, you know, we've got some nether bricks here. There's some more soul sand. Possibly enough soul sand to start... Uh, sorting it, uh, but probably not. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. So, dirt, yep, we can start filtering that out, so that's totally fine. But, uh, yeah, soul sand, let me just remind myself, uh, 38. Okay, so we still don't have enough to uh, start filtering those out yet, but I'm hoping that we will start seeing an increased supply of nether bricks and such uh, a little bit later down the line. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to uh, speed it up a little bit here. There we go. Maybe we take all of this stuff out. And then we take that out, take that out, uh, do that, and then, oh goodness me, there's so much stuff here. <laughs> oh my goodness, so much stuff. Okay, right, so I just saw some nether bricks going in there. Let's make sure that they're going into the correct chest. So currently it's at 10. Um, is it going to start dispensing it? Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so it still works. Brilliant. Well, guys, I tell you what, this sure is taking a while. Like, I'm not even sure I'm even halfway through trying to fill up the storage system just yet. I mean, at the moment, I'm trying to gather up all of the ores that exist inside of my world so I can start filtering through some of those. Okay, so there's a bunch of lapis ore. I'm even picking up nether ores as well. Well, the nether ore. That is uh, nether quartz, that is. Uh, so, yep, yeah, there's some in there. There's some crying obsidian. Beautiful. And, oh my goodness, look at all of these Alls we have here, guys. Oh boy! Oh my goodness me! <laughs> That's a lot of alls, guys. That is a lot of alls to sort out. I mean, just look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful sight, isn't it? It's a truly beautiful sight. A near full inventory, just full of alls. I mean, you know. We're going to store these things, so if and when we need to fortune mine ores, then we can. So, yeah. So, what does that mean? Is there, what, seven? I mean, eight ores, if you include the nether ones? Huh. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That's that's quite a lot of stuff going on. So, as you can see, this thing is just churning through the items. And, yeah, so far, so good. They seem to be doing the job and going into the correct places, which is brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so yeah, again, it's only going up to the nether bricks because I just don't have enough soul sand. So I'm going to have to go for a bit of a trawl through the various dimensions to try and get all of the resources needed to get all of the filters up and running, right? So it's going to take a while, but it's going to be more than worth it, guys. So where should we put the ore? Should we put them at the back here? Maybe we do it from, uh, from worst to best. So maybe coal can go in this one. So whoop. There we go. We've got coal in that one. This one can contain iron. So there we go. Just need to access that top hopper. 
boop, there we go. Uh, then I think I am going to go for, well, I think I would have gone for redstone next, actually. Uh, but we'll go for lapis here. I don't have enough lapis to fill up the filter. And then we've got gold, which is great. We can go and pick that up. Okay, cool. And then we've got diamonds. If I know, I'll do quartz next. There we go. I feel like quartz is slightly below diamond, in my opinion. Okay, and then we'll do the diamonds. Oh, darn it. What did I do? Eh, do that and boop. There we go. And we can actually filter the diamond ores, believe it or not. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Check it out, guys. We have our first double chest full of items automatically sorted and ready to go. Right. Now, I have noticed that this bottom hopper will go ahead and get filled be before this second chest gets filled. Now, honestly speaking, like, I mean, I could go ahead and manually do this and that will sort of split the items between the hopper and the chest. But honestly, I don't really think it's too much of an issue. I really don't. At the very least, it's going to offer us five more more stacks of storage space inside the hopper, right? So it's not too it's, it's not too much of an issue. It really, really isn't. So yeah, guys, we're starting to get there though. Very slowly, very surely, we're really starting to get there. Now at the back here, I think I want to put maybe the mob drops or something. I think that could be really, really awesome. Alrighty, guys. So I've got a bit of a thing that I want to figure out here. I've got ender pearls here, and they only stack up to 16, okay? So how would that work? in terms of an item filter system? That's the real question. So let's go ahead and say, for example, we put all of the enderpearls in there. Okay, so they filter down to seven. Okay, so it does actually still work. Huh, it seems to scale down the stack by the looks of it. That's absolutely fantastic. That's really, really good to know, actually. Anyway, so we've got ourselves slime balls here. We're now starting on this back section, guys. Like, slowly but surely, it's, it, this has honestly taken hours. Like, look at this, guys. We are really, really starting to get there. I went into the nether. I flew around and chopped down a bunch of trees. And as you can see, there's just... There's, there's stuff everywhere. There's stuff literally everywhere. We've got jungle saplings and the different kinds of woods all over the place. There's plenty of things going on here, guys. Like, honestly, we're getting so close to finishing this thing. Uh, I've even managed to set up the item filter for the gold blocks here. But sadly, not the emerald blocks because we just don't have the resources to do so. Now, the reason I did gold is because eventually we're going to make ourselves a fully automatic gold farm in the nether above the nether ceiling. And therefore, we're going to wind up with a whole ton of blocks. Now, emeralds, of course, we'll just get it from trading, and then we've got, like, grass blocks and all sorts of other bits and bobs here as well. So, yeah, this is almost like the valuables row, isn't it? And, well, a couple builder blocks here and there. But, uh, yeah, this back section is mostly going to be for mob drops. So, I'll tell you what, let's go and put those in there. And in this uh, back section over here, this was the other nether section, wasn't it? So, as you can see, we've got, like, glowstone, bone blocks, obsidian, and the two types of nylium going on as well. Alrighty, guys, literally a couple more more to do. I have represented where the item filters need to go on by torches. So let's go and grab out the ink sacks here. I think ink sacks are a great idea so we can keep on making our comments question of the video books. Uh, we do have ourselves some string here so let's go and grab those out and start filtering them. Okay, so we can now get rid of those torches. And finally, we've got the gunpowder over here. Let's go ahead and get that filtered. And ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, aside from the emerald block, everything is filtered. Literally everything. Or is it? Oh, wait, 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 the redstone isn't. Oh, darn it. I need to, I need to get more redstone. Ah, I knew it. I knew I had some left, my friends. Sweet. Okay, so 41 is the amount we have. And like I say, the only thing we haven't managed to filter yet is the emerald blocks. I'm kind of tempted to replace that temporarily with something else, maybe? Just so we can actually have this thing fully up and going. Uh, so yeah, that's now filtering in, which is beautiful. And like I said, the emerald blocks are the only things that I haven't got going. Um... I mean, what could we replace it with for now? Maybe iron overflow? What do you guys think? Iron overflow for now? I think that might be a cool idea. <sighs> Let's try that again, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. That one is now in. Redstone is one that we don't have. But thankfully, we should be able to just mine it from all over the place here. And then, yeah, we should be able to get the redstone filter going. And 
pretty quick. And redstone. Oh, there we go. I've even got a little section here for like redstone blocks as well. So that's pretty cool. So, you know, even when we mine this stuff up, we can still store it straight after. Uh, emerald ore is something else that I can't store. And that might be a bit of a tall order to try and capture... Uh, a, a lot more emerald ore. We'd need like 40 more to actually activate the item filter there. Uh-huh. Yeah, that might be a bit difficult, huh? Maybe we put something else in there for the meantime? I mean, are we gonna... I mean, to be honest, are we ever gonna have enough of this to mass store it all? I mean, you never know, right? But for now, I don't think emerald is gonna be something we mass store, okay? We need to figure something else out there. Uh, Okay, then we'll go for chests here. I mean, we're always going to wind up finding chests within the world, aren't we? Like treasure chests and end chests and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, this is what we have going on, my friends. And I'm pretty darn sure now, pretty darn sure that we have all of this up and running. So, yeah, back here, I've got myself, uh, I've got roast chicken for food. And then I've also got brown mushroom sugar cane and also spider eyes. And this is going to be my little sort of villager curing kit area. So these three items are required for fermented spider eyes this is needed to convert it into a splash potion and then we're pretty much good and then back here got some more stuff here i did forget about magma blocks so that is something uh, we've put in here which is good and ladies and gentlemen i can confirm that every single comparator is now up and running which means this thing is ready to be open for business guys finally functionally speaking it's done all right so what have we got going on in here there's still quite a lot of stuff going around so we've got warped nether warp blocks or warped warp blocks or whatever you want to call them. So they're going to be going into here, right? Yeah! Okay. So I have just confirmed to myself that the corners do indeed work, which is fantastic. Now the question is, will it go all the way around in terms of, you know, the, the, the sugar cane and all that kind of stuff? So we've got dirt coming in. We've got some spruce logs. Okay, good -o. And then, yeah, here are the mushrooms. I'll tell you what, let's go and put the mushrooms in there. Okay, and they should start randomly dispensing. Okay, coolio. So let's get back over to here and let's just make sure that the mushrooms go in. So 32 is the amount we're at right now. It should go up very, very slowly here once the items come round, that is. Okay, any minute now, right? Any minute now, come on. Okay, well, we need to try and figure out what's going on here, guys. Because there is supposed to be more than... Oh! Oh, no, no! It did come in! Oh, okay. It was just super slow. All right, guys. Bit of a design flaw. These trapdoors keep wind up getting activated as the item filters activate, right? So I might have to just go ahead and get rid of those altogether. Maybe replace them just with logs or something nice and simple, right? So if I was to head up here, then as long as we always wind up picking up the redstone... This should be okay. So do that. Redstone. Okay. Okay. As long as we keep doing that, we should be okay. <laughs> Just got to head down here and get rid of the trap doors. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, God. Ah! No, 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 no. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. oh, where did that go? Okay. Oh, we still got it. <laughs> oh, slight panic moment there, but okay. Everything's fine. Okie doke. Get rid of these things. And how does it look? Does it still look all right? I'd say it still looks okay. Eh. Yeah, for the most part, I'd say it looks okay. Maybe you guys could come up with some ideas in the comments area. Maybe we need to come up with some different design here because I'm not entirely sure about this so far. All right, guys. So for the utility area here, I thought what could be a nice idea is if we do a little bit of a checkerboard pattern here on the roof. And then we've got a bit of shroom light there in the middle for lighting because, you know, lighting is obviously something we need to keep in mind. So let's keep on going here. So that'll go out. That'll go across. Okay, that will go out, that'll go across, and finally out and across. Now, I guess what we could do to make it a little bit more interesting is maybe uh, checkerboard it like this as well. Maybe that could be a cool idea. You know, just, just make it look a little bit more interesting, I guess. Uh, so, a little bit in the corner here, and there we go. How does that look? Huh? How does that look? I think that looks pretty decent, right? So, what happens if we get rid of that? Uh, nine light level. Okay, so that's still enough to the point where hostile mobs will not spawn. So that's really, really good to know. Oh. 
Okay. <laughs> Underground pond that I've already explored? Okay, you do you there, baby. You do you. Okay, so yeah, we've got enough lighting down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a seven down there. Ooh, okay. We might need to have a couple more bits of stream light down, in which case. So, uh, maybe we do one there, one there, rather like that. Okay, and then maybe a couple at the sides here as well. Uh, just want to make sure that this is totally lit up, okay? So, yeah, fantastic. That'll do the job. Brilliant. All right, so all we need to do now is just get some uh, trapdoors in at the sides here. I'm hoping they won't activate, although I've got a feeling they might. Eh, I don't know. Eh, I don't really know if I'm being totally honest with you. Maybe I just put leaves here and then sort of cut me losses a little bit here. So, yeah, if we just do that, uh, then all should be good. Yeah. Yeah, doing things for the benefit of our uh, eyes, I guess. <laughs> it looks good, though. It looks good. I'm down. All right, folks. Just got to get the final finishing touches in here. So, yep, we've got those little flower sections to come in. Uh, that's already looking good. This is already looking good, uh, which means I'm pretty sure we're just left with the tree section. Okay, so we pop in here. Trap door, trap door, trap door. Okay, and then get rid of the top ones. Rather like that. Flip that on, boop, and then do that, and yeah, yeah, baby, we're looking good up in this business, we're looking good, all right, so here we go, up we go, flippity doo da, do that, shroom light, and then that's pretty much there, okay, nice one, all right, guys, we're starting to get there quite nicely, what do we want to do here, I could put an iron door just in case we ever need to access this, but I don't think that we're gonna need to access it. I guess the only real thing we need to do now is try and figure out these corners. Now, we've got leaves, we've got stream light. We could probably put in, like, a, a waterfall in the corner or something. That would probably look kind of cool, right? I mean, I'm kind of down with that. So, let's go ahead and do a little thing here. Maybe we go, uh, like, maybe maybe three blocks up like that. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm kind of down with it. Okay, and then we have to have it go down into the ground and then sort of surround this with wood. Just so it looks good. Ha! Python, the great rapper. Okay, and then we get this thing placed in. That's looking kind of cool. All right, and then we could probably, like, do this in the background. Right? And then put the leaves in. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely kind of down with that. Uh, but then maybe we could put the shroom light. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, shroom light. Boom, like that. And then get rid of that. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Looking good, baby. Looking good. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to say that this thing is so, so very almost done here. All I have to do is get these trap doors placed in. Again, I'm not entirely sure if they'll even activate while, uh, you know, we're doing various things with the sorting system. But I guess we'll figure that out in a little bit here. But as far as I can tell... Uh, aside from making sure the light levels are up to scratch, which they seem to be, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing is now done. We have a fully functioning, fully finished automatic storage room of epicness and it is totally done, guys. Totally, totally done. There doesn't even appear to be anything going on now. Like, we need to go ahead and put some stuff in there, huh? So what out of this can be sorted? So we've got the stone there, the dirt, the leaves, logs, the chest there, and yeah, the stream light as well. Okay, coolio. Yeah, look at that. All right, so let's go over to the leaves and make sure that they're working perfectly. So that's going to be going inside of this chest, if all is going well, that is. Come on, baby. I want to see that number go up. But in the meantime, guys, we are indeed going to end the episode here. It has been such a long one today for me, my friends. It's actually kind of unbelievable. Just just freaking roaming around the world and make sure we have all the resources needed to, you know, fill in all of the item filters. It's bonkers, guys. It truly, truly is. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode and the fact that we finally finished our fully automatic storage room, then please do be sure to drop a like rating, my friends. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. This sub-project is completely finished. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.